wonder if we can get a bomb on his ass. Oops. <laughs> oh, shit. Get in there. Ow. Okay, well, that worked. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG. In this episode, we're going to go do some more hard drive hunting. Uh, but before we do that, a couple things uh, to do. Uh, I got I brought back 400 Sam. I, I keep wanting to call it Sam Ore, but now it's just Sam. <clears throat> and so let's do the... I think we had one or two things we could research that required Sam. Um, let's see. What was it? It was this, right? No, that's a that's Mercer Sphere. Here we go. Yeah, Sam analysis. Let's see what this does. Strange alien matter analysis completed. Dormant crystalline Sam can now be found with the resource scanner. In its dormant state, it is safe to handle without special equipment and can be stored indefinitely. Research for enabling the reanimation of dormant Sam is now available. Fill the rivers with blood, and let the effigies defile our temples. The sun will follow. Okay. Uh, so let's also research Sam reanimation. Sam reanimation recipe unlocked. Sam can now be safely awakened, provided it is contained. Meaning, if not contained in special electromagnetic storage, it tends to start breaking atomic bonds of any matter it has physical contact with, and reconstructing it into easily transportable resources. <laughs> Scripture and blood compose harmony. Follow our hallowed temple halls and listen to the echoes of your ripples. Our bones are more beautiful than yours. Okay. Great. Um, and then this will require Sam fluctuators plus some pipe and cable. How do we make Sam fluctuators? It doesn't say. Reanimated Sam. Oh, okay. So we can make this in the crafting bench. But we probably... Okay, we need to unlock the fluctuators some other way, apparently. Oh, no. we Okay, no. I, I see what... We, we unlock it here. We just need to make reanimated Sam, which we can do here. All right, let's make ten of those. And then what else did you say you needed... Uh, 100 pipes and 200 wire. Okay, let's research this. Sam Fluctuator Recipe Unlocked. The fluctuator can mimic unique communication through patterns of electric frequencies to instruct reanimated Sam to perform specific tasks or give specific restrictions, such as matter to energy conversion. It can also function as matter memory, reading the exact composition and state of a collection of matter in one location, breaking it down, and near instantly reconstructing it in another location, which has incredible Ender chest. potential for smart storage. Nice. Okay, right. Uh, all right, so... The fluctuator thingamadoodles then are made in uh, the crafting bench with wire and pipe. Okay, um, so we could we could do those, and then to research the dimensional depot, yeah, we could actually do that now. Um, I don't know that we need to do it now, but we could do it now. So we would need 11 of the fluctuator thingamadoodles. 
and that's only th three pipe and five wire plus we would need 10 more of the reanimated Sam. Let's do it. Why not? Okay, so that gives us 11 reanimated Sam. Um, and then how many of the fluctuator thingies do we need? I think we need 11, right? Yeah, 11. Okay. Oh, no, we need six per. So that means we need 66 of these. All right, let's see if we have enough to make 66. We do. Okay. All right, now we can make 11 fluctuators. And then we're going to need one Mercer Sphere. And we can research the ender chest. I <laughs> know that's not what it's called. Dimensional Depot. Dimensional Depot unlocked. SAM can be utilized to deconstruct matter down to its chemical elements in one dimension, and the Mercer Sphere allows it to be transferred and stored in another. Once parts are fed into the Dimensional Depot, they can be accessed by the Pioneer Inventory and Build Gun System at any time, anywhere. We see through the window. It is pathetic. Consume more blood. The glass will not shatter. The metal will not bend. The wood will not splinter. Weave. Right. Okay, so apparently... A depot expansion, a manual depot uploader, enables uploading from the inventory. Uh, upload upgrade, dimensional depot upload speed. Okay, that's speed, speed, speed. Stack increase, stack increase, stack increase. All right, nice. Very cool. Okay, well, we don't really need that stuff right at the moment. I mean, can we can we make the dimensional depot? We can make the uploader in dimensional deep depot uploader production. Uh, yeah, but what do we make it use to make it? It doesn't say, like, do we make it in the crafting bench? Here. Uh-uh. Dimensional Depot Uploader. Do we make it in here? No. So we don't make it in the workshop. We don't make it in the crafting bench. Uh, okay, so it requires four components, so I wonder if we need a manufacturer to make this. But it doesn't say that. Usually it tells you, you know, what machine you, uh, or what mechanism you use to make it. Is that a build gun thing? Ah, Yes, it's a build gun thing. Okay. The uh, dimensional depot uploader is used to upload resources to a dimensional storage deposit. From here, resources can be used by the build gun and crafting stations as if they were in the Pioneer's inventory. Okay. Gotcha. So we could make that. Uh, we don't, we're not going to make it right this second because we don't need it right this second, but um, that's going to be very useful. Cool. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't... Uh, do I have enough Sam to make 10 more of those thingamadoodles? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's make 10 more. Well, let's just make... Turn all this Sam into... The reanimated thingy. 
uh, and then we need to make, but then we need to make the 10 fluctuators. And, and so we would need 60 of these. Okay, so that's something we can work on later because we know where that SAM deposit is now. And we can come back to that. Okay, cool. Uh, so we made some progress on the alien technology. All right, what we're going to do here is we're going to get Logistics Mark III next. And I have all of the stuff already queued up in my inventory ready to go for this. So let's do that. Bada bing, bada boom. Milestone reached. Improved storage containers and the conveyor belt Mark III provide the obviously necessary tools for improving your current setup. Production speed is of the essence after all. So work hard. Work as if every person you have ever or will ever love is depending solely on the choices that you make. Because they are. Because they are. Including Morning. puppies and kittens. Fixit psychologists recommend not dwelling on the crushing mental and physical strain of your responsibilities and simply continuing to be productive. Hard work has repeatedly proven to be the best cure for any kind of stress. Now back to work. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, very good. Okay. So we now have accomplished my primary goals for our start here in Satisfactory 1.0. Uh, we have advanced steel, uh, more specifically the Mark II Miner, and we have Mark III belts and lifts. And everything else, uh, oh no, we need blueprints. Yeah, so we still need blueprints. Um, and we have all of this, I'm, I'll have to make uh, modular frames uh, by hand, which I can do off camera. And then the rest of the stuff we will also do, the hypertubes will be nice, of course, and then the power towers, and we also have uh, tractors. We'll do all that stuff too, of course. But uh, the last, high priority item of course is blueprints so we'll work on that later but what we're going to do for the rest of this episode is we're going to do go do some more exploration and see if we can find some more alternate recipes uh, let's put you back in there and i think i have a representation of each kind of product that we currently have access to including a couple things we don't because Doggo found us some stuff. Speaking of which, where is Doug? He should be He should be piddling around here somewhere. He might have something else interesting for us. He's he's really come through with some good stuff right lately. Last time I saw him, he was like over here. Hmm. Hey Doug, here boy. I don't know where he is. Uh, he's hanging around somewhere. <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder if um if you if you lose the the doggo if he respawns back where you originally tamed him. I'm not actually seeing him around here at all. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm sure he'll turn up somewhere. And if not, we'll, we can go back to where we did tame him and, you know, pick him up again. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Oh, <laughs> look at that. 13 high-speed connectors. Nice. That's some pretty advanced shit. That's not something we're going to be able to make for quite some time. Thanks, man. You get another pet. You're amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so the plan for our next expedition here is to basically go east. Um, and I, I don't, I don't remember explicitly where more drives are, but I'm pretty sure there's more to be had. Uh, I just don't remember exactly where they are. I'm not super familiar with the Dune Desert. I've spent, I haven't spent a lot of time here this biome is the you know i've spent the least amount of time in this biome in my time playing this game uh, but of course that will all change when we as we go through this playthrough so we're just going to go east and kind of skirt the border of the map actually we should probably go north first and then east and we'll just you know keep our eyes peeled for hard drives and slugs and anything else we can come across and that galaxy looks awesome up there. 
You know, I think maybe there is... Um, let's get this blue slug. Maybe there is a hard drive over in that oasis area. I've been over there once in this playthrough. Uh, these are little guys. Let's save our ammo. Slug on top of that arch. I think there's a cave in that rock there. Can we walk on this? Yeah. Yellow slug is wait, is that yellow or blue? That's blue. A little. The colors are a little bit weird right now because of the, you know, lighting outside. We've been over that way. So let's go investigate this cave, but I want to I want to go all the way north and kind of work our way around the border. Uh, also to uncover the map in addition to everything else that we're trying to accomplish here. I just don't remember what's in this cave over here. Is there anything down underneath here? Does not appear to be. All right, we got a big hog and two little ones. Actually, those are kind of more like the medium-sized hogs. Ouch. All right, he's down. took a little bit of a beating there. A little bit of health back. It will also replenish over time. All right, what were these guys guarding? Was it the entrance to the cave itself? I don't see anything here. Let's go into here. Oh, can we not get in here? Hmm. There we go. All right, we got a bunch of spiders, a Mercer sphere. All of you down there. Can we, um, let's put this in here. Yep, we can, um, do that. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's jump over here. Grab those. Uh, weren't there one more of these guys that was still alive? Maybe not. Okay. Is 
There's another bacon agaric. We might have to uh, we might have to ramp up there unless there's a way to get up there from here. Okay, we can get up here and then back over this way and then back over this way. Ah, shit. All right. Let's take the easy way out here. Forgot to zoop it. If you don't have it on zoop mode to begin with, then it's kind of hard to get that to work right. Be appropriate? That's a lot to ask of me. Witness. Wit witness. We watch the weights of the effigies and the shallows passing through the windows, and they're all the same. There is no residence growth. Sing. I just called the Fixit doctors. They told me there is definitely no danger from repeat exposure to these signals. In fact, they said it is good for you. <laughs> yeah, I right. apologize, but the call dropped suddenly, otherwise they would have told you themselves. <laughs> the good news is you should run towards these strange and dangerous looking objects whenever you find them. Doctor's orders. Doctor's orders. <laughs> okay. Right. That, uh, that definitely helps me feel better. Um, all right, is there anything else in here that we should be going after? Uh, we do need some more mycelium, but... I don't really necessarily see that in here. I think that's... Okay, That's that must be the way out there. Hope nobody's claustrophobic. Well, there we go. All right, cool. That brings us over to this oasis. I was over here, like I said earlier, earlier uh, going after some biomass. It's a good place to get it. And let's get our yellow slug here. Yes, this is our slug. It's intended for us. Don't question it. Interesting sound effects. So somewhere around these oasises, I believe there is a hard drive. Assuming all the hard drives are still in the same location that they were before. Okay, this, wow, there's a lot of ore here. That's a normal. There's a tiny bit of water down there. Um, I see another iron over there. I see a limestone there. Let's do a scan. We have two normal irons here. All right. Do we have a copper here? An impure copper. And what is the limestone? A normal limestone. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, that hard drive is actually going to be back down more in this area here, I believe. All right, let's go back here. Get the bacon. All right, there is a bad bad over here. I don't know what he's guarding.
Good idea to keep your weapon loaded, just FYI. Another cape. Okay, we got a big and little plasma spitter up here. They are apparently guarding something as well. Come on. Show your noggin. Oh, I think there's a purple slug up there. Okay, let's just ramp up. Nope, it's a summer sloop. Okay. Very nice. All right. So, um, let's see here. I think. We want to go, let's go north and uncover this part of the map. And then, like I said, we'll work our way around the coast and just see what there is to see. Just check to make sure there's nothing up there. We have a coal node here. Couple cold notes. That is good to know. Let's see what their purity level is. Okay, normal. That doesn't suck. And impure. Okay. And then there's one here as well. Normal. Good. Okay, we'll keep that in mind for sure. I don't believe we can go over there. I try. I think I tried to do that in uh, early access and I couldn't get over there. Wow, look at that view though. It's so cool. You know... Uh, the other thing, too, that, uh, you know, if you watch the opening trailer of 1.0, it seems to suggest that we're only on a very small continent of this planet. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but take a look at the opening trailer, and it, it kind of, the camera kind of just zooms down onto, like, almost like an Australian-sized continent, it seems. Man, that's such a long, long ways down. Oh, I just love that kind of stuff, though. The wonder of it, you know. Let's grab this blue slug. Got a little guy garden. All right, we have a big guy over here. Is there anything down here? Oh, there is a hard drive down here. Okay, cool. Nice. That is a long fucking way down. <laughs> There's a pathway down there. Why don't we uh, ramp down from here, and then when we come back up, we'll go up that pathway. That's right. I remember this now. I just completely forgot about it. 
Um, are you not gonna... There we go. Got it. Okay. Oh, we got a big boy down here. Let's remove that so he can't... He can still shoot at us, but at least he can't... We could try and load him up with some no, uh, noble, noblesque, I guess they're called. It'll take a few to kill him. Oh, he hit us. Ouch. Oh, he, he blew him up himself. Okay, come closer. He blew up the Nobelisk. Nobelisk. I want to call him... Ah, shit. I want to call him um, Nobelisk, but they're actually Nobelisk, I believe. Did we... Wait, did we kill him? Oh, we got him. Nice. Okay. Works for me. Ninety steel beams, nice. Fifteen staters, seventy-three reinforced plates, so we have that we don't have room for. Um, okay, let's get rid of this grass. Uh, we'll pick those up. We don't have enough room for the industrial beams. Oh, this is a nice problem to have. Trust me. Uh, more steel beams. Okay, let's do, uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves a crafting bench. And what we're going to do is we're going to make some proteins and some power shards to free up some space. Uh, we're going to have to temporarily drop something. Uh, let's temporarily drop the 12. Yeah, we'll drop these. We'll pick those back up in a moment. Let's make some power shards. It gives us three slots. Okay. Grab the rest of those and the rest of those, and did we pick up all those steel beams? I guess we did. We must have had, we must have had enough room for them. All right, let's see what you want. Ah, free. I like free. Free is awesome. Very nice. Okay, let's set down the man and get this hard drive going. Hopefully we get something good for our iron factory. Beautiful. Anything else around here? Woohoo, that's a long way down. That'd make one hell of a screenshot, huh? Let's do it. Look around down here for anything else before we go back up. do a quick save here just in case just in case we fall off the edge of the cliff or something you know yeah it doesn't look like there's any reason to go over that way anything up here negative All right, I think our work here is done. Let's do a marker so we know we've completed this area. HD done, and we'll select the check mark icon. 
And we're golden. Okay. Let's head on back up. Just gonna go over here a little bit just to completely uncover the map and to make sure we didn't miss anything. Like barrel nuts, for example. Does this go anywhere? Okay, we've already been over it that way. Very good. All right, let's head east. And then we'll proceed uh, along the eastern and then southern, southeastern area. And work our way south to continue uncovering the map. All right, we've got a big boy over there. The question is, what is he guarding? I don't see anything. This is that... Yeah, this is that same crater we were at earlier. I hear something. Slug or sloop. Maybe there's an underground cave or something. Yes, there is a cave down here. Oh, there's uranium in that cave. All right, well, we can't go in there right now then, he says as he goes in there right now. I am curious to see how fast is that going to take our health down. Uh, just want to look in here real quick. Oh, shit. Okay, Mercer Sphere is what's in there. All right, we don't need that right now. Something we can go after later once we get the hazmat suit. Okay, now, what is this big guy guarding over here? That's what I want to know. It sounds like there's a, a slug or a sphere or sloop right in this area, but I don't see anything. Weird. Okay. What are you guarding, dude? There's something here. Cave entrance. Ooh. I wonder if this goes back into that same cave, but from a different, different access. That's what we were hearing. Oh shit! Can he get in here? I 
I don't think he can get in here. <laughs> okay. We just need him to get uh, back down here where we can shoot his ass. Okay, let's top off. I wonder if we can get a bomb on his ass. Oops. <laughs> oh, shit. Get in there. Ow. Okay, well, that worked. We just kind of hurt ourselves in the process, but whatever it, whatever it takes, right? Come on, grab it. Oh, not enough space. Shit. Uh, really? Already again? Uh, we're not going to have space for that purple slug then either. All right, well, let's put down a crafting bench. And we're going to have to drop something again. Uh, let's drop the the, K, uh, the wire. I think that's all we can do to make space. We'll grab this slug and then we'll also turn it into power shards. Did I make the ladder? Or no, no, because that, yeah, we got to learn that from the awesome shop and we haven't done anything in the awesome shop yet. But we can use conveyor poles as a ladder. There we go. Perfect timing. Let's turn our purple slug into five more power shards. Let's see what our hard drive is. Alternate bolted frame. Okay, that gives us five per minute. That's not a bad one. Um, I'm not... Okay, this one's not bad either because it's a lot... E it's easier to make pipes than it is beams. We can make more of these for... You know, for the... In comparison to the normal way to... The normal recipe... But here's the cool thing about this is we can we can keep this stuff here, but we can we should also be able to click on this and open this in the codex. So the normal recipe only makes two per minute. Oh, nice! It tells us what it's used in too. How useful is that? Uh, well, stuff that we already know about anyway. So that one's two per minute. Uh, oh, hard drive library. Right, okay. Uh, so this one makes five per minute. Takes screws instead of rods, but it makes, you know, it makes 75% more, basically. So that's not a bad one. Let's see, what is the default recipe of this? So the default recipe of this makes six per minute, which is more, but it requires steel beams, which are more expensive to make than the pipes. So that recipe doesn't suck either, um, but I'm I'm kind of inclined, I think. 
Especially, especially since we have the the cast screws recipe to take this one. I think we we shall do that. Okay, there we go. Now, it looks like there's potentially more to this cave. Well, not going that way, there isn't. Let's also grab the giblets here. And since we did grab those giblets, we're going to need to make... Uh, I guess I actually didn't need to throw that wire out, but that's okay. Okay, so it looks like there's a passage up through there. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I did not know that cave was there. Never been in there before. And we were were rewarded with a purple slug for our efforts. That doesn't suck. Okay, let's go along the border here. This goes back over to the waterfall. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to head south and kind of just stay along the coastline here, at least until we get down to the larger oasis, and then we'll take a diversion there because I do know there is a hard drive there. Uh, assuming it is still there. Okay, so it looks like that is a Caterium node, maybe? Let's see. Caterium. And it is a pure. Oh, nice. Okay, good to know. Very good to know. I'm not spotting anything else significant down there. Coral thing would probably give us some mycelium. If we have an easy pathway down here, which we do, then let's run down here and take a look see. Can we cut this? And if we can, what does it give us? Nothing. Okay, this should give us mycelia. Yes, it does. Okay. Let's get rid of this just so it's out of the way for when we come back here in the future. Oh, shit. Now water gets deep fast. Oh, there's waves now. Look at that. I never even noticed that. How cool is that? There were no waves in the... in... in, uh... uh... early access. 
Oh, that is neat. It's the little things, right? Very neat. Good job, coffee stain. Good job. That's kind of weird there. <laughs> there, though. All right, I guess that's all there is down here. It's just that pure Caterium node. But that's n a nice, uh, nice thing to have for sure. We may very well be tapping into it in the future. What if those fart rocks are guarding anything? Yeah, we need to go over to this oasis anyway, so let's let's cut west at this point. Looks like there's a Mercer Sphere up here. A limestone up here that is pure, beautiful. No room. Uh, we do have room for you, though. You gonna say anything? I think it's saying compose it into a blood song. The voiceless effigy creates bodies in their waves that does not notice the shore. Is our melody not beautiful? Detecting abnormal brainwave activity again. Activating artificial brainwave resonator. Your shallow song has no rhythm. The river erodes our temples without prayers and washes away our scripture without deepening. Consume. I believe this is one of those moments where the scientist would yell, Eureka, but that seems entirely too dramatic. It seems they are somehow organically emulating human speech. Fascinating. Continue exposing yourself to alien artifacts. <laughs> right. <laughs> to alien artifacts. I'm glad she made that qualification. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Oh, we have that problem where we're out of inventory space. There just isn't really anything in here that I want to get rid of, though. I mean, I suppose we could put a chest down and come back for it later. That is a possibility. Okay, well, here, let's... Let's make some more proteins. I want these proteins because, uh, as I've mentioned already, we're going to turn them all into DNAs and get a bunch of points, extra points in the awesome shop uh, to get give us kind of like a boost. But we're already, we already have quite a few coupons just from all the quickwire we've been feeding in too, so that's good. Oh, we have this one too. There's a blue slug there. Okay, let's make our way towards the hard drive. Uh, there's a summer sloop over there. Do we already have a sloop? Yeah, okay, so we can grab that. Is there anything up on this arch? I don't think so. We don't have any pale berries, 
So there's not going to be room for picking that. So I think we'll leave it. Maybe we'll get it some other time. We'll get the sloop, and I think the drive is somewhere right over in here. There's a blue slug over by that hatcher. We have something else that's aggroed on us too, but I don't know where it is. Oh, right down there. Okay. Let's leave this here and go grab the hatcher parts so we can turn that into protein as well. And we'll have to come back and grab the slug. Okay, I see another Mercer sphere. There's the hard drive over that way. Okay, let's go grab this. Uh, we have, yeah, we already have a, a, a couple spheres, so we'll have room for it. Waves lap at our shores when we land. Okay, we have a blue slug there. We've got our hard drive there. And another blue slug over there. Let's go do the hard drive first. Twenty-nine rotors? Not enough space for them. That's so sad. That's very sad. Can we pick up the cables? Nope. Can we pick up the concrete? Nope. No space for any of this shit. What about the uh, rods? Nope. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm gonna have them do a drop chest. This is just getting ridiculous. We can pick up that wire. Look at all the wood that's over here. This is crazy. The nice thing about the alien proteins is, or, or the alien giblets, is that they'll stick around. You can come back for them later. They'll, they won't disappear. All right, what do you want? 70 megawatts. Okay, that means we're going to need to set up uh, th uh, four. No. Three. Yeah, three biomass burners. Alright, let's build ourselves a drop chest. And anything that I have that's a full stack, I'm going to put in there. Uh, well, that I have multiples of, we'll say. Uh, we'll, we'll do that. And then... Okay, so that gives us five slots. I want to... Well, we'll just pick up some of this biomass here. Should be plenty. Okay, open her up. Okay, 
let's grab all of this loot. Looking to see if there's anything else around. Uh, no room for the rods. Oh, wow. Reinforced plates, too. A lot of good stuff here. Okay. Where did I... Where did I put my chest? I thought I put it right here. All right, what happened to the chest? Houston? Did I not just build the chest and put stuff in it right here? Oh, it's invisible. What the hell? <laughs> wow, okay. You're killing me, Smalls. All right, I'm going to get rid of this biomass just because uh, we don't have room for it. Okay, let's pick up the rest of these rods. That is weird. Okay. Let's take the ammo back with us. We'll take a full stack of encased industrials back with us. Um, I think... Yeah, I'll just come back and get this stuff later. Let's put a few more things in here, too, just to even free up some more slots. Am I doubled up on anything now? I don't think so, except for this. Yeah, okay, we'll put that ammo back in there, too. Okay, that gives us five slots. <clears throat> uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to mark this place with a... Uh, we'll just put, like, a little stamp there for a chest. And we know we have a drop chest there that has all of that stuff in it. So we have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, six. We have eight unique items in here. Just making sure that I have a full stack of all of those in my other in my other inventory. Oh. Okay. Uh all right, let's go get this blue slug over here. Um why am I not getting a prompt to harvest you? What the hell? Uh-uh. No, let's pick up leaves. Hmm. All right, let's cut this tree down. We'll go to single mode, though. Well, first of all, we got a bad bad somewhere. There he is. That tree was interfering with being able to get to the slug. Okay. So there's a sloop up there we can grab. Gonna say anything? Guess not. Our instruments echo in the deep. Do they not plug the shallow threads? Can you hear me? Crescendo, the effigy found the key. Sing more. 
I was not created for artistic purposes, I am incapable of singing. You sing. Noted. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do know for sure, uh, again, assuming everything's the same as it was before. Hey, look, there's another doggo. Where another drive is, way to the south. And we have room for pale berries now, so let's pick those up. Ooh, there's a hatcher. hearing either a slug or a sphere or a sloop okay that's the that's one of the alien thingies where is it though It is in the water. There they are. I was looking for those hatcher remains. All right, let's go south to the other known hard drive location. This is a pure copper. There might be one in uh, this can these canyons too. I don't remember. And also. A little bit of a not really a cave but a passageway through here with something that sounds like a slug or a sphere or a sloop there's a slug Blue slug down there. Do I have room for a blue slug? Yes, I do. Take a look out over the coast here. Yeah, there isn't really anything along here at all in terms of a shoreline until we get down to here. There's a couple spots up that way we missed, but that's okay. Coal nodes. Let's see what their purity is. Why is that green? I've never noticed green before. There's quite a bit of coal over there, too. Okay, good. Ma'am, our research is complete. 
grab this slug here. Hold still, man. Got him. Yellow slug over that way. Too close. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, shit, right there. Any more? Scared me. Okay. Let's see if we can just oh, don't over jump. Let's see if we can grab this real quick. Not enough space. God damn it, Jim. Should have known better. Come here, you bastards. Okay, let's go back up here and shoot this fucker. Ouch. Are you one of the big ones? Whew, okay. Let's get a little bit of health back here. Put the ma'am down. Don't care about that. Alternate uh, alternate molded beam. Like this is 45 per minute. And it requires concrete in addition to steel. The normal recipe gives us 15 per minute. Hmm. So that increases it by 300%. But it requires concrete. That could be good. Automated miner is completely worthless. I mean, I, I just don't see why anybody would ever do that. Uh, Yeah, let's take this. This could be good. This could be good. Okay. Turn these into power shards and turn all of our alien remains into proteins.
Okay, let's grab our yellow slug here. So we've amassed um, 18 power shards so far on our expedition. That doesn't suck. And then we got this big coastline here. Along with those cold notes, because it's my plan to probably do our, our big steel production facility out here on the coast because of its close proximity to, the, you know, the coal and stuff. Um, there's another yellow mush or yellow mushroom, yellow slug down there. And we can get a little more mycelia while we're at it too. Going to probably have to remove the coral first. Gets deep fast. There's a Mercer Sphere out on that rock island along with a hatcher. I don't want this stuff here. I'd like to get a full stack of mycelia. Okay, we have more coal here. An impure and an impure. But there, you know, overall, though, there's a lot of coal here on the eastern end of this biome. So, again, that's why it's an ideal place for a steel factory. All right. We are, we're kind of running out of time here, but I'd like to hit that last hard drive before I let you guys go. So, let's get moving here. I think I'm going to let... Leave that Mercer Sphere and those hogs for now. And let's continue on. I want to see what this copper is. It's normal? Okay. There's an iron over here. Oh, there's a hard drive out there, too. That's not even the one I was going after. Oh, pure iron. Very good. Very good indeed. Uh, okay, there's a big plasma spitter and a little plasma spitter out there. There's some, some loot down there. So let's set down a craft bench and pick up the plasma giblets.
That's 25 modular frames. Uh, we have room for those. Do we have room for the rotors? Oh, we do. Okay, good. Even better. Where is the giblets for the big, big guy? Do we have room for these? We do not. Sixty-two steel beams. Nice. Hmm. I don't know where the giblets went to the big guy, unless I pick them up along with the little one. Oh, there they are. There they are. Okay. All right, let's turn those into proteins. Uh, we'll do some power shards, too. We just have one biofuel left, so I think I'm going to ditch that. And we'll grab these reinforced plates. 158. Oh, no, 58. We have a total of 158, but still, even 58 is pretty damn good. Uh, let's grab these beams. 62 beams. That's good. And 40 staters. More reinforced plates here. No room. Ah, oh, geez. Okay. I don't want to make another drop chest. I really don't. I think I'm going to get rid of... Uh, what are we going to get rid of? Um. Well, what does this need? We still don't have enough room. Can I get rid of those long enough to get this guy started? Oh, we need the wire to make that. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's get rid of this 16 mycelia. All right, got the hard drive going. And that gives us room for the reinforced plates. I must have must have already picked up the rotors that were here. Because I don't see them. I just don't remember. Sorry, short-term memory. My short-term memory sucks. Is there anything else? Possible that there could be something up there. Anything else we can do to free up another slot by chance? Not really. Okay. I'm just going to check up here. Just to see if there's something up there. There could be some some really high-end valuable stuff up there. It's not likely, but it's certainly possible. Nah, I don't think so. And I think we're good to go. I do remember that drive being there. I just forgot about it until we saw it. So. Let's go grab that last drive. The one that I do know of. Or remember, I should say. Why are there so many fart rocks over here? <laughs> Grab 
There's a slug up there. That gets us up to 22. Power shards. That makes for a profitable trip. Uh, yeah, let's grab this slug as well. He's playing Ring Around the Rosies with me. Where'd he go? There he is. Go up this uh, pathway here. Take a look around and get that last drive. Which I think is going to be over this way. Okay, we have another Mercer Sphere there. And an asshole plant. but not through the windows. What is your route? I have no routes, nor do I operate on windows. But perhaps you mean something akin to the human saying, my point of origin is Earth. I was created by specific individuals of the human race. Incompatible music. Did I say something wrong, or did you not understand? You cannot be shallow deep. The ripples you cast into the void have no skin. It seems I may have said something paradoxical. Interesting. That's kind of cool that Aiden is now having conversation with the aliens, even though it's all it still doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Maybe it will start to make sense later. We'll see. Lots of fart rocks around here. What are those guys guarding a passageway, maybe? There's uranium in that passageway. All right. Well, let's uh, stick to the business at hand here. What do you need? Nothing. Beautiful. Uh, if we take this now, it's going to take up a slot that we can't do anything with. How much time do we have left on the MAM here? Oh, shit, I forgot to get my copper wire. Oh, no. Uh, damn it, Jim, where did I leave that? I left that back over this way. All right, let me go see if I can find it, because we're going to need it to set the MAM down. Here it is. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Six inventory slots does not suck. Uh, molded steel pipe. That gives us 50 pipe per minute. Hmm. Uh. Nor, uh, what do we normally make? We make 20 per minute. Takes three steel. This takes five steel for 50. So the steel ratio is about the same, but then this one also adds concrete. But if we're also gonna 
source concrete for those beam, that beam recipe, we could also do this one at the same time. Six inventory slots is going to be nice, but that's, you know, that's something I'm sure that's going to come up, you know, multiple times throughout our playthrough. So, yeah, I think we'll do this only because we did that other one and then we can, you know, use the concrete for, for both and increase both of our pipe and our steel production. So let's do that. All right, let's get this next drive. Oh, we got to pull the drive out first. And of course, I have no room for it. There we go. Okay. All right, let's see. We got some rods and some screws, 27 screws. Anything that's a little more high end around here? Yeah, we got reinforced plates, which we have room for. More reinforced plates. We'll take those. Ninety-six concrete. We don't have room for that, but I'm not too terribly concerned about picking up concrete rods or screws. We have a full stack of screws. We have a full stack of rods. How many are here? Ooh, that's a lot of rods. That's not a lot of screws. Um, I don't, uh, yeah, I just don't really have anything I want to get rid of, though, so... I think we're gonna we're gonna call it good all right guys um this is i'm sure this is gonna be a little bit longer episode but that's all right uh, i'm gonna work my way back to the base and i'm pretty much just gonna make a beeline for the base i'm not gonna go out of my way to grab anything else um just because of the fact that we don't have any any more inventory space um I'm going to go back to the base, drop stuff off. I'll run over here and grab all the stuff out of there and bring it back. And then um, in the next episode, I think we will get started with uh, preparations for our main factory, which is going to be over here by the waterfall. Um, and in the process of doing that, we'll also finish the rest of the milestones for tiers three and tier four. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.